to position the machine. First ensure all of the adapters and stabilizers are removed. Move the first dynamometer stop to position G on the green scale. Now move the second stop to position I on the green scale. Now collect the adapters and stabilizers for this position. We will need the elbow slash shoulder adapter. The pillow may be required for comfort. And the footrest. Now adjust the chair rotation. Lift a locking handle and rotate the chair. Rotate the chair to 80 degrees on the green scale. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Set the chair back translation by winding the handle. Adjust the chair back translation to position 0. The chair foreaft is altered by raising either locking handle, then slide the chair bottom forwards or backwards. Adjust the chair foreaft to position 7. Lower the locking handle to secure. Set the seat to the up position by lifting and releasing. To set the chair back angle lift a locking handle and adjust the chair back. Adjust the chair back angle to 68 degrees. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Now set the dynamometer tilt. Release the locking handle then change. Adjust the tilt angle to 30 degrees. Lock by tightening the handle. The dynamometer height and rotation are adjusted together. Lift a locking handle to release. Rotate the dynamometer to 10 degrees on the black scale, whilst also adjusting the height to 13. Ensure both locking handles are pushed down to secure. Finally position the monorail by pressing the kickboard and sliding the chair to position 32. Install the elbow shoulder adapter into the long end of the input arm. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Now position the hand grip. Loosen the screw and slide to the correct position. Move the handle to position A. Note well. This position may need to be altered to suit the subject. Secure using the screw. Adjust the handle rotation by releasing the screw, then pulling the pin. Rotate the handle to position ab slash adduction, then secure with a screw. Next install the footrest into the chair using tube number 2. Pull the locking pin to allow full installation. Secure with the locking screw. Place the lumbar cushion onto the chair if required. Once the norm is positioned, ask the subject to be seated on the chair. Now the axis of rotation needs to be set. The axis for the joint needs to be directly opposite the black dot on the input arm. The axis of rotation for the shoulder is medial to the acromial process. The chair fore aft and the dynamometer height may need adjustments to achieve the alignment. Once alignment is achieved, ask the subject to hold the handle. The length of the elbow shoulder adapter may need adjustment. Top tip. Try to leave the elbow a few degrees from full extension. Adjust the hand grip position until the arm is parallel with the trunk. If further adjustment is required, alter the monorail. Check the axis of rotation. Note well. The axis for this position may move superiorly during the motion. Because of this the elbow may flex and extend to some degree during the test. This is normal. If less elbow motion is required split the test into a first segment of 90 degrees. Then a second segment from 90 degrees into full abduction. Finally attach the shoulder straps if required. To use the chest straps first place both arms through the loops. Then clip the straps together using the clasp. Tighten the upper straps until the waist sections are above belt level. 
Now tighten the waist straps keeping the clasp centrally on the waist. The test is ready to begin.